My name is Jury Augusto. I am a visiting professor of international and public affairs and Africana studies at Brown, and I'm also a Watson Institute faculty fellow. Well, I had had from my time in Africa a lot of experience with science policy in South Africa, post-apartheid. And I decided, why not do the IPSA countries at the time, India, Brazil, South Africa? So I said, okay, I speak Portuguese. Let me see if I could go to Brazil and find a partner just for this class. So I asked a colleague here at Brown, who is also in the Brazil Initiative, Professor Keisha Khan Perry, and she had done her doctoral research in Salvador de Bahia. And she gave me a couple of names. So I set out to go to Brazil, met with people in a place called the Stephen Biko Educational and Cultural Institute, Instituto Steve Biko. Very well known in Brazil, 25 years of work, and I'll explain later. So the first thing that I found was a partner for my class in uh, Science and Technology Policy in the Global South for a video conference. From the year 2008 until now, every year, I do a video conference with Brazilian students, usually Afro-Brazilian students, because that, if you know Brazil, the northeast of Brazil is, is really majority black, and the city of Salvador is a, you know, has a kind of special meaning, and the Steve Biko Institute, uh, with whom I've become a long-term partner, is situated there. So probably the first thing that I did that connected Brown, not me, but Brown, me, and Brazil, was to get this partnership with the Steve Biko Institute for an annual video conference with my class. Later I was asked by the same Steve Biko Institute to participate in designing, setting up, and then teaching in a leadership institute which ran through 2013 to 2014. Uh, it was called Quetu, which means our place in uh, Kiswahili. I'm the one who gave it the name. And it's a leadership institute for black and women's um, grassroots organizations in the nine northeastern states. So it took place over a period of a year and a half, and they would be in residence for about a week. And so I would kind of go back and forth to teach in it. But the larger part of it for me, where I learned the most and I think contributed most, is in conceptualizing a leadership program for these black men and women who are in grassroots organizations. And it was in response to a survey that one of the research institutes in Salvador had done with women's uh, and black social movements, everything from environmentalists, uh, against domestic violence, uh, a whole range of social issues that had to do with gender and race. What did they need? And so the Leadership Institute, Quetu, was really in response to their needs. So I worked with that. So how this work connects to Brown is interesting. First of all, it enriches my teaching. Everything that I do in Brazil spills back into my teaching. I'm not a Brazilianist per se. I don't teach courses that are in the core of the Brazilian Portuguese studies, but because Brazil is often a starting point. The African diaspora is really my starting point, and Brazil is, a, is an important part of the African diaspora. So as a starting point, as a center, as an example, as a source of archives and frameworks and questions, I always go to Brazil. I teach every spring in Africana Studies a course called Black Transnationalism. There I use a lot of material from Brazil. I try to find things in English, but then if I have to translate so that the students have access to a Brazilian point of view and from the Brazilian literature, then, then I do that. And Brazil is very important in, in thinking about black transnationalism in the 20th century because as is not w as widely known in the United States as it should be. Nowadays, 52% of the population of Brazil identifies itself as black. So while we think of Brazil as one kind of country, Brazil itself is actually a majority black country. And so it's very important to introduce that history, that literature, that culture. And I try to do that a little bit, although the course is not just about that, in the course on black uh, transnationalism. I think I am a resource for my students. All kinds of students who are interested in Brazil come to me even if they don't take the class. Uh, my classes are often cross-listed with Brazil and Portuguese studies, even though it'll be about science. I teach in the Science and Society program. I teach in public policy. I teach in Africana studies. But usually those courses will get cross-listed, so students come. And you know, brown students can find out who does what, and so they come. 
I would say that my greatest collaboration with other faculty members is under the umbrella of the Brazil Initiative, which is headed by Professor Jim Green. So there are lots of things that we collaborate on to present to the Brown public that all of us would have met and decided we'll do this or that. So for example, the Brazil Initiative in Africana Studies are sponsoring right now, a, um, which just got started also this week, and I just said goodbye to our first guest and speaker, Lazaro Cunha. So we have a series of four Afro-Brazilian speakers who will be coming over the course of the year to talk. And those talks are publicly, publicly available. And then they're available to speak, when they're here as a speaker, to speak in other classes. 